Joe Woolock has earned himself a Future Stars card in Team 2. This is quite a nice little sort of addition to the game. Looking at the face stats of this card. Hmm, potential nice box-to-box -box player. But let's have a look at the card itself in depth. So on this screen, there's not really any changes to his base card. Same work rate, same skill moves, same weak foot. So nothing different there. Positions wise, same as his base card as well. CM, Cam, not really chopped or changed anything there. And same with the player traits. Technical dribbler is on his base card, same as that. Not a lot of uh, player traits, which maybe for a box to box, you might want to see a few more on there. But let's have a look at his in-game stats. So, looking at the in-game stats itself. So, nice pace, for especially for a midfielder. Shooting-wise, it's very much in the shot power, finishing and attack positioning. So, the long shots being lower. Again, as box-to-box, -box, you might be wanting to take a few shots from outside of the box. So, maybe a little bit of needing to an upgrade to that side of things. Passing-wise, 80 is a bit i feel on the lowish side especially with how key passing can be especially from the midfield side of things vision and short passing isn't actually too bad but again looking at the curve and the long passing would want those to be a little bit further upgraded and then the crossing as a box to box playing through the potential middle i don't think that isn't a critical thing to be worrying about Dribbling wise, it's pretty good across the board. Um, composure obviously would maybe be nice to have uh, on the higher side. Not necessarily that much higher, but just a little bit higher. Wouldn't go amiss, shall we say. Defending side, so 76 defensive awareness. This card would definitely not really be spelling out as playing at CDM. However, I could maybe say... At cam could be a possibility, but the three-star three-star would definitely mean you don't want to put him that far up the field. Plus, the high high work rates definitely would spell more going as a box to box player. And then the physicality side of things is very nice. High stamina, not too bad on jumping. Strength and aggression is quite good as well. So here is the team with we're looking it, and if as you can see on the screen, there is Enketia. I have done a player review for him. He is already up on my channel. So if you want to see how I got on with that NK card. Especially if you're doing an Arsenal pass and present like myself. Then feel free to check that video out. But obviously to get Willock in. We are changing up a little bit. Got the 4-3-1-2. Uh, could potentially change to a 4 triple two And maybe try out Willock at Cam. But I think as I was saying. Box to box definitely is more up the avenue for this card. So let's get into a game. And try out this Willock card. Yeah. But he put himself in a nice position. And we're going to get a nice early goal with him. Go on. Go on, Joe. Oh, good save by the goalkeeper. Nice attempted shot, actually, by Joe Willock. And get you to Willock. Willock from distance misses. Wow, okay. Willock, nicely done with a simple interception there. Fuck's sake. Willock, nice interception again, but my god, that was a poor draw of a game. Okay, Willock making a nice run forwards, but he got dispossessed right at the end there. Right, Willock is on the ball. Come on, Willock, what are you doing? Oh, nice. Yeah, nice passing. Nice. Oh, that was a good passing for Walcott there from Willock. But that wasn't too bad of a pass. For, and I think that might have been another Willock assist as well for Walcott. Oh, go on then. Walcott on. <sighs> Willock is actually showing some good passes in this game right now. And another perfect pass from Willock. Can that be a goal for Enketia? Yes, it is going to be. Okay, Willock wins the header just about. Oh, 
Ah, oh, terrible goal to concede right there. Willock did feel uh, a bit slow on that, like, uh, getting back. Which the, essentially, the attack came from was on Willock's side. Willock. Ah, oh, it's coming from Willock's side again. Okay, the defenders. It's not really doing much defensively for me right now, uh, Willock, from what I'm making here. Okay, he's doing a better job getting forwards than actually defending. Like, he's just jogging. Jogging casually back. And, do you know what? That was almost another assist for Willock. See, so he's forwards. Nice block by the opponent there. He's, like, again, good going forwards. Not really doing much going backwards. Right, again, noticing that he's not really sprinting back. He's just very slow at getting back. Not... Okay, there, there's an actual defensive action from him in midfield. Nice pass again. Oh, fan, that, that should have probably been a free kick in my opinion. Oh, what a beautiful goal there for, from Fabio Vieira. And that was a Willock assist again. Get back, get back, Willock. Cover the pass. Nice, simple inception that didn't go away from the player like it sometimes does. Willock tried to win the ball back at high up the pitch. So, my final thoughts and feelings on the Willock card. So, I think getting forward, he seems very okay and sound and being able to get him with the assists and stuff. Obviously, didn't really get much in terms of shooting opportunities with him. However, I do question his ability to potentially play Cam anyway. Then, in terms of the defensive side of things... I wasn't really noticing him. I just felt like the weaknesses as well were from his side. Like he wasn't tracking back a lot. He was getting forwards. And then because he was getting forwards, he would then be jog jogging back slowly. He didn't feel very fast with running back. Like he felt to me as fast as my Tommy Ashu. That is saying something. Like Tommy Ashu's got less pace. Then this Willock card. Yes, okay. He Tommy Ashley is lengthy. And I think that's the difference. Some a card feeling sl as slow as somebody actually with slow pace or slowish pace in comparison isn't very boding well. I kind of after using this Willock card, I'm appreciating that Jorginho card a little bit more. Because at least that Jorginho card, I feel, does a lot more defensively in comparison to this Willock. So for me, this Willock card is cheap. But I think there's just, like, other options that have come out already. Like the Erdegaard card. Now, that isn't in terms of, like, playing defensively. But obviously, Erdegaard can play Cam. Jorginho, the centre mid option. CDM options, like Gwenduzi, Obviously, a lot more expensive. But... Arsenal past and present players that have a specialist role and feel like they can do that role. And, they, and to be fair, that Jorginho card, I use at CDM. And I feel like I can use that card at CDM. This Willock card, I feel, is just lackluster. He does not feel like an 87 rated card. Maybe on old gen as well, he might be more suited for an old gen rather than new gen. Better options out there that you could easily save up for. And that is going to be it for this player review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the other player review on Enketia and see what I think of that card. But that is going to be it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.